What's up guys, Fosbeth here. Today I wanted to talk about something on Twitter again, uh, but more generally it's about uh, Rumiko Takahashi. I don't think I need to introduce who Rumiko Takahashi is, but she is the author of such legendary manga as uh, Uruse Yatsura, Rama One and a Half, uh, Iruyasha, uh, Right now, she's serializing um, Mao, 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 uh, and uh, Shonen Sunday. Uh, she's been around since the seventies, and she has never stopped. And as you can see right here, she's celebrating a total of two hundred million books sold worldwide. Uh, and by books, I mean trade paperback books. One author. 200 million TPB sold worldwide. Think about that for a second. It's insane. So what happened was, as is the case with most uh, manga artists, she did not have a Twitter account. Uh, she recently, as in last week, opened a Twitter account, and it's it already, it already has uh, 300,000 followers. It's probably going to shoot up to several million pretty soon. Um, this is in the span of less than a week. And something interesting that she shared with us is her daily work schedule, um, how she spends, how the schedule for her day is divvied up. She mentioned that she spends uh, five days a week drawing manga. And I believe she said two of those were spent for doing uh, the storyboards uh, in Japanese. It's referred to as a name. I don't know why, but it's a rough draft of a comic. It, you can have stick figures on there as long as you, you have the dialogue and you have uh, the, the paneling uh, laid out. And after that is uh, the rough pencils, which is uh, the actual you know line art. And then from there, you do uh, uh, your... Uh, pens, your inking, and then you do, in the case of for manga, most of the time it's, uh, you, you use screen tones and, and then you uh, add backgrounds. So she gave us a breakdown of her day when she's in the penning, pen stage of creating her comic. Uh, so right here it says, before lunch, um, she pens in all the characters about seven or eight pages worth and from 12 o'clock she has lunch and she does housework whatever that entails uh, from four she does, she reads and she also does housework and from seven she has dinner and also does housework so there's quite a big block of time devoted to housework but i'm assuming that includes um you know cleaning up her studio and whatnot because most manga artists their studio is part of their house if they're if they're big uh, sometimes there's people that would rent out like a, an apartment uh it's just so that they can you know have a, a work life divide but uh i'm pretty sure in the case of uh, rumiko takahashi she has a big house, and the studio is part of that house. And here's where it gets interesting. She says, from 9 o'clock at night, 21 hours, to 9 a.m. the next day, she's drawing. So she's drawing for straight 12 hours overnight. And then from there, she goes to sleep for three hours, wakes up the next day at 12, does some housework and eats lunch. And at four, she starts the process over again. And then the next day at nine o'clock, she's done. And there's a caveat at the bottom. She says this pattern seems to be the case most of the time. So I'm assuming there's 
a little bit of variation as far as how she devotes her time or what she has to do for the day. But this is in line with the schedule that I've seen in the past of her, where she talks about uh, devoting two days to inking. So this, of course, led to a lot of people asking, so you only sleep three hours a day? And she felt like she needed to follow up on this. And she says that uh, during lunchtime, she sleeps, she takes a nap a lot of the time. So, yeah. So if you want to be a multi-millionaire, successful comic book manga artist that's still putting out a weekly comic in your 60s, like Rumiko Takahashi is, the key is to sleep only three hours a day. That's all it takes. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? It's um, absolutely insane. Um, you know, as an animator, there are days where I do this, but it's not consistent. I don't sleep three hours every day. I, I do get six hours of sleep half the time. So what can I say? It's just all about the hustle, man. Uh, just like anything else, uh, if you're at the peak of your game, you got to hustle. doesn't matter how much reputation you have, how much skill you have, how much uh, goodwill you have with your audience, I guess. Uh, you still got to put in the effort, and you may receive a fraction of what you put in. But if you want to go to the top, unfortunately, uh, unless you're some genius that could do the same quality work at twice the sp at uh, half the speed. Um, I'm sorry, twice the speed, half the time it takes. Then uh, you got to sleep three hours a day and essentially work the rest, except for housework. Now uh, this dovetails into something that I another thing that I've read about her before, and it, this is fairly recent. Um, there was a comic that was written by somebody else, a manga that was written by somebody else. So it was like a uh, what's well, it's like a documentary comic, which is a thing in Japan, where where one of uh, Rumiko Takahashi's editors at Sunday asked her very bluntly, which is something that you usually don't do to somebody that's uh, this well respected. Uh, he, you know, she's in her sixties. I don't believe she's married, and I don't believe she has children either. I know from tax records she makes about. $30 million a year just from royalties, nothing else. That's that's not from sales of new comics either. But um, the editor asked her point blank, like, you know, I've, I've known you for a couple of years. The only thing I've ever seen you do is write manga. I don't see you go out. I don't see you taking vacations. I don't see you buying anything expensive. Like, don't, don't you want to enjoy life? And Rumiko Takahashi's answer to that is, I've never experienced any joy in life greater than writing and drawing manga. And that is absolutely amazing. That's the most, I guess if you look, if you look, if you're cynical, you can say, wow, that's um, sad. But to be honest, uh, as an artist, as somebody that draws and somebody, um, that's in a similar field. It's, it was just um, amazing that she could be in that kind of mindset uh, in her senior citizen years, essentially. She's 61, I think. So she's not quite a senior citizen, but she's getting there. Um, and she still has that passion, that drive, that fulfillment and enjoyment that, um, from her work. And I'm envious. And that's the sort of mindset that I think not only myself, but a lot of people would like to be in. And it's something that we could learn through osmosis from somebody like Rumiko Takahashi. Okay, guys. Well, this was a, I thought it was a short video, but I guess it's 10 minutes long. Uh, I know there's a lot of stuttering and ums and ahs, but um, I'm not going to edit this. So thank you for uh, listening. Uh, if you like videos like this, uh, where I sort of peer into the nooks and crannies of the manga artists and industry, uh, please like and subscribe. 
Uh, this has been Fosmouth. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.